Our bot is logged into Discord. In this video series, you are learning to build your own chatbot game. We are building a mafia or a werewolf game inspired by Among Us. In this video, you will be running your bot code for the first time in a free online web service called REPL.IT that lets you edit and run your code. You can use the link in the video description to sign up. Click the Python here to make a new REPL project using Python. Since you found a library to use in the last video, you can add that to our project by clicking on this packages icon. In many programming languages, software libraries are put into containers called packages, which you can download off the internet with a few simple commands. Here, search for discord.py and add it to your project. What's happening now is that REPL.IT is running a shell process on its server and showing you the output through our web browser. That shell is running the commands to download discord.py from the Python servers onto the REPL server. While you wait for that to happen, you can copy the minimal bot code from the library documentation into your main.py file. The bottom of the sample code says your token here. Many services like Discord give your bot a secret that only your bot should know. This is how they prevent other bots from impersonating yours. Since the example code only has this one place to enter a token, it's very likely that this is referring to one of the secrets related to your bot or your Discord application. One thing to keep in mind is that in the free version of REPL, all of your code is public. REPL has a way to store secrets like your bot token in a file called .env. There are other better ways, but this will be a fine start. Unfortunately, after I first recorded this, I discovered that the .env file doesn't work in Python REPLs unless you're logged in as you. This will make it hard to run your bot continuously. Leave a comment if you'd like me to create a video showing how to migrate this REPL into a different hosting. You can create a .env file like this. There are two secrets that we created before. One was the client secret for the application, and the other was this token in the bot user. Since the example code said token, it's probably the case that you're supposed to copy the token from here into the .env file. We need to pick an environment variable name for the token. It's best to pick a name that describes what's in the variable, something like discord bot token. You'll need to write the Python code that fetches the value out of the environment. It'll look like this. Make sure to get the environment variable with the exact same name that you put in the .env file. Then you can run the code to make sure that it works. You can confirm in another incognito browsing window that you don't have access to .env so that your secret stays secret. Finally, after you've verified all of that, replace the your token here sample text with the code that gets the value out of the environment. Run the code to test that it's working. See how now the error message says improper token has been passed? That means that the code is probably working, but the token is wrong. Finally, put your token into the file. Run the code and hopefully you'll see a message like this one. Your bot is logged into Discord. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. In the next video, you'll add the bot to your Discord server or guild. Thanks for watching and see you next time.